Hello everybody and welcome back to the Personal Statement Writing Series. I'm Sen, a fourth year medical student at Cambridge, and today we're going to go through the research paragraph, also known as a super curricular paragraph of your personal statement. So this paragraph is going to be more useful for those of you applying to Oxford, Cambridge, or the London universities, where quite a large emphasis is placed on medical research. However, just to note, although I call this the research paragraph, it is also very fair to call it the super curricular paragraph, since this will be the main paragraph where you talk about the medical books you've read, and any higher level lectures you've been to outside of your school curriculum. Therefore, it's a really good paragraph to have, even if you're not too keen on the research side of medicine. Who knows though, once you get into medical school, you might do some research. This paragraph is also the place to include any particularly cool achievements that you've had that are above and beyond your school curriculum. So let's get to it and make a list of all the things you should specifically include in this paragraph. Let's list them out as we speak. You could include lab research placements that you've done, a research paper or two that you've read that are relevant to your work experience, self-led extended projects or extended project qualifications, EPQs, Olympiad participation for maths, biology, chemistry or physics, and particularly interesting would be any international Olympiads that you've done, any blogs or websites you've made relevant to medicine, school medical journals you've written in, lectures you've been to about medicine, medical journals that you have regularly read, including the BMJ, the Lancet, or the New England Journal of General Medicine. A lot of you may have read The New Scientist, which isn't exactly on par with things like The Lancet, one of the most prestigious medical journals out there, but it's still worthwhile mentioning. You can also mention online seminars and workshops that you've done throughout COVID. And lastly, you can include summer schools or any subject masterclasses that you have been on. So as you can see, this paragraph is really an opportunity to show admissions tutors what a goldmine of achievements you have that are above and beyond your school syllabus. Showing that you take your own initiative is one of the key qualities of successful medical school applicants. Now stuff like sporting, music, or school prefect commitments aren't really for this paragraph. Instead, leave them for the extracurricular paragraph that comes up next, that we'll discuss in the next personal statement video. So now we've discussed everything you can put in this paragraph, let's go through how we can string all of this together. It's a good question that you ask, and let's get to it. So for research activities that you've done, hopefully it's relevant to some of the work experience placements that you have been on. So clearly you can see that you saw something on work experience and then you then did some further research into it and wrote something up. For the one or two research papers you mentioned, make sure to highlight the usefulness of your research and reflect on how the research you've read will help improve the lives of patients. For medical journals you've written in or blogs you've written, highlight how this has helped you develop your research interpreting skills but also your research write-up skills, and link this in to your interest of getting involved in translational research whilst at medical school. For summer schools, masterclasses, and workshops you've been on, talk about what you learned, mention specific examples of something you found interesting, and also talk about what opened your eyes. Remember, in order to make it relevant, link it back to why it further motivated you to want to study medicine. So hopefully this video helps, and remember, this paragraph is another opportunity for you to highlight to admissions tutors that you are indeed far more motivated than the other candidates applying for medicine, but also have proven it by doing an extensive list of super quick activities that is more than just going to school and doing well in biology, chemistry, maths, and the admissions exams. If you have any questions, then message me on Instagram or comment down below. And if you like this video, please do give it a like. And if you really liked it, please do subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. I've got some pretty cool tech and unboxing videos coming up for you soon that I think will be very relevant to all the students out there. So as always, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Cheerio. But it's your style, so something must be up keeping you down. You a queen that must be heaven sent. Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt. Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well. My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail. Actions speak louder than words, and that's a lesson that I learned all by myself.